Oh, my name is Captain Raz as I sail, as I sail. Welcome to the Gaming Galleon, mateys. Pirates, swashbucklers, scoundrels and alike. Welcome to Adventure. Welcome to a massive pirate ship sitting in the water. Barely able to stay afloat because of all of the amazing video games that sit within. My name is Captain Raz. And I couldn't be happier to once again bring you to adventure, excitement, and hopefully maybe a laugh or two. Even if it's at my expense, I have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, today we're going to be playing... Well, first of all, we're going to be talking about... I guess a, a very influential fantasy series in my life. I will also be playing Dragon's Dogma for the uh, PlayStation 3. We've got a big nasty sales sticker on here. So I'm going to pull out the, the box art for you, just so you can see. Dragon's Dogma, uh, the royal correct title for this is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, otherwise known as uh, the Game of the Year Edition. If you're planning on getting this game, this is the one I suggest. It's maybe around uh, three, four dollars more, uh, but definitely the one to get. We'll also be playing, and we'll also be cracking open the chest here. The chest is stocked. Uh, it's stocked with some good stuff. Pretty exciting deal to be uh, gone through here. And then finally, of course, at the end of the hour, we will be turning the wheel over to you, where you and you give me some sort of question, whether that be about video games. The massive, beautiful galleon we're on, or just life in general. You can leave it live in the mess hall here. Uh, if there are no questions here, uh, then I will uh, pull it out of the mailbag. You see back there? The bag that tells no tales. Okay? <laughs> My belly's in the way. That's terrible. There it is. The bag that tells no tales. Okay? So, let's get started. Um, Dragon's Dogma is a very fascinating RPG that came around the time when action RPGs were plentiful, oozing with quality, and as a result, where it was like many very good RPGs at the time, uh, overshadowed by the Elder Scrolls series, uh, most notably Skyrim. Fewer RPGs came out at that time. Kingdom of Olimar fell to the same. Uh, um, fell victim to the same de destiny as Dragon's Dogma. And uh, it's a real shame. Uh, Dark Souls 2 overshadowed this game a lot. But basically, we found uh, in Dragon's Dogma the perfect blend between uh, a vibrant, interesting world like Skyrim and brutally hard, the brutally hard challenge and difficulty of Dark Souls. Um, but we'll get into that later. The important thing to take away from, from Dragon's Dogma, above all else, is that there are... You actually play two characters in this game. You make your character however you like, uh, what his face looks like, his clothing, his class, what have you. That happens in a lot of RPGs, especially during the PlayStation 3 and the ongoing PlayStation 4 era. However... This one broke the mold in that you made two characters. Because in, in the world of Dragon's Dogma, there are two species. There's a whole myriad of, of monsters out there, like any action RPG. But unlike, say, the Elder Scrolls, where there was, you know, six to seven different races that, that interacted, in Dragon's Dogma, there are only two. There are humans, and there are pawns. And they look basically totally alike. Pawns look exactly like humans. The only difference is is that pawns do not exactly have a soul. They don't have free will. They um they're not they're not the best at parties. Okay? They're basically puppets almost for one single solitary person in the world. You, otherwise known as the Arisen. That's the character we're playing. So when you start Dragon's Dogma, you not only have to make the character you'll be controlling for the extent of the story, but you'll also be creating 
a pawn who will be your uh, comrade in arms from then on. Now why this intrigued me so much, why I bring this up, why this is so important is this had a lot to do with the character that I made. Um, when I found out that the, you, you made two characters in this game to work together, the first thing that came into my head was the Dragonlance series. Now, the Dragonlance series is a very old fantasy um, series, book series. And when I was a kid in high school, uh, believe it or not, I never read Tolkien. In fact, I wasn't even really introduced to Tolkien until the Lord of the Rings movies came out. But I did spend a lot of time in high school playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I spent a lot of time reading Dragonlance books. Now, I don't know where my books are. They've been, you know, washed away over the years. But the only real eye-catching thing from the Dragon's Lance um, universe that we have sitting in the hold is this NES game, Heroes of the Lance. This takes place in the Dragonlance era. And just I'm just pulling it out just for a little eye candy. I also have something... Uh, but basically the Dragonlance story is about very similar to, to Lord of the Rings in, in which it's a party of eight or nine people thrust together in order to go on to a large overarching quest. And there are two characters in the party of Dragonlance that stood out to most readers and stood out to me when I was thinking about Dragon, Dragon's Dogma and the fact that I had to make two characters that would forever be bonded. I thought of the twins, Caramon and Raceland. And let me show you what they look like. I'll have to ignore the uh, comely woman in the middle, but if you take a look here, you have a fighter and you have a mage. And Caramon's the fighter and Raceland's the mage. And they're ever bound because they're twins. Raceland is pretty bitter. He's all about power, and he's kind of jealous of Caramon because Caramon is, you know, charismatic, handsome, strong, uh, has a great constitution. Raceland has always been uh, kind of cursed by the power, magic power he wields, and that he's very physically weak. And this was always a, a there were a number of different Dragonlance books. And after the main series, after the Nine had uh, overcome this evil, the writers began to make even more and more books, and because of the popularity of uh, Cameron and Raceland, especially Raceland, the magician, they made more and more books. And while these two probably aren't my favorite in the Dragonlance series, the opportunity to play them in a living, breathing, massive world was just too hard for me personally to pass up. So the characters we're going to be playing will be the twins. And I can't think of any better moment than to get started right now in Dragon's Dogma. We're at camp. It's about mid-morning. Uh, and uh, let's just start exploring the territory, shall we? This is uh, Dragon's Dogma, a criminally underrated RPG for the PlayStation 3. Let's get started. Oh, allow me to dawn the Harpa transition. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see of the two, you may have thought that I decided to play as Carmen the fighter, but who can resist Raceland? Now, for those of you who may know about this uh, series, about Raceland and Caramon, you may be already like, well, this doesn't look like Car Raceland at all. Uh, he may have this, the same frail body, but he's not wearing red or black. Uh, Raceland was always wearing red robes in the Dragonlance series. Well, unfortunately, I have not been able to find any robes. Now here's my plan. We're standing right outside a lake hardship. We have our campsite here. 
We stayed here for the morning. We have a party of four. Uh, that gentleman in the red uh, in the blue that's walking away, that's Carmen. And then we have two other uh, mercenaries along for the ride. We have a, uh, a ranger named Reyna. And then we have my, my apprentice here, the young but very valuable Layla. And we'll get into how you decide on your party a little bit later, but for now, man, let's just get into some action, shall we? Now, I figured, if you see up there, can you see on the skyline, there's that one, almost looks to be some sort of man-made structure? I believe that's a castle. Now, I don't know what's in there, but I figured we could go check it out, maybe grab some goods, and then head back down here uh, to the campsite. Oh, no! Uh, if we find some goods, then we'll head out to uh, back to the city so you can get a good idea of what city like is life in Dragon's Dogma. The marsh grows deep at its center, I should think. Okay, now you'll notice the other three are pawns. I'm the only real human being here. The other three are pawns, and as the Arisen, they are compelled to help me. Every pawn on the planet is. And I've handpicked these two, in addition to Carmen who is forever bound to me. Now we're going to go around the lake here and try and make our way to that castle if it's possible. And you can see how gorgeous this is. Did I just hear a growl? What did I just hear? Whoa. I really don't want to... Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! This is going to be a problem. Just for the record, I've fought a dragon once in this game. I never defeat, and I, I did not defeat it. Oh my god, we're off the rails. This could take all the whole show. Where'd he go? There he is! Man, screw him. Do we really want to go for this? I kind of do. All right. Let's, let's, whoa, boy. Now, I want to make it clear. You'll notice there's no mini-map. There's no health bars. Whoa, 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 whoa. This game has all that stuff, but me being the maniac that I am... I don't play with them. I like to play with the naked eye in any RPG. In addition to that, I'm playing on hard mode. And this isn't like Elder Scrolls. He seems to be toying with us. Unlike Elder Scrolls where you can just back and forth switch your animation. Switch your difficulty. This game, if you decide to commit to... What is he doing? Is he coming at us? What? 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 Oh my god. Poison cloud. Watch the dragon! No! Oh. Wow. Uh, let's see, we started at 55. We've got another three minutes. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. I knew he was back there. <sighs> wow, now it's... Now it's kind of revenge. Before setting off, we ought to equip ourselves to well, we're equipped. Although... We could break out the big guns. 
Alright, let's do that. We'll spend the next couple minutes prepping and showing you one of the most interesting things about Dragon's Dogma. The Rift. Am I going to be able to do this? Are we logged in? No. Wow. Uh, I knew I forgot something. Let's see if it lets me in. I'm pretty sure I have to sign in. Oh, it did let me in. Okay. So this is the rift. And this is where I recruited Reyna and Layla. Now, I really like them, but they're pretty low level. So I think to give us a fighting chance... Oh, man, my friends list is, is dead. Okay, well, the coolest thing about this game is bringing in a couple people that you know. Unfortunately, we can't do that. Because I'm dumb and I didn't sign in to my PSN account. Alright, but we're going to bring in a warrior. And a mage. We're going to summon these guys. And they're going to come help us. All right, let me take a look at this guy. Yes, Arisen. This guy looks like he's a dark mage. I'm really kind of looking for a healer. What's your story? Yes, Arisen. Oh my god. This is all falling apart. I need a healer. Alright, who are you? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're coming with me. Reyna, you're out for now. Alright. Now this is a rating system. I'm sending back a message to the person who created uh, Reyna. Never pass across again. Okay, who's this guy? A dwarf? Alright, well, we'll bring the dwarf in place of Layla. I have a feeling I'm going to die. You cannot take on any more followers without releasing one of your right. current companions. I am Thank you. To travel with you. Rainy, you did great. I'll give you some meat. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let you go for now. You did great. You did amazing. All right, we're gonna head back to camp, and then I'm gonna start uh, apologizing profusely. Okay, we're. Uh, Right on time to do the booty segment, I'd say. So we should probably get that started. So let's do that. Where's, uh, anybody see the harp? Okay. Harp away. Oh, man, you know. That's the problem with doing, uh, RPGs. Especially RPGs with a challenge. I mean, we're doing this in one take. This is, uh, this is the reality of the galleon. It's not, oh, hold on a second, let me, let me redo my buttons. Uh, hold on a second, let me reset. No, this is it. This is how, how Dragon's Dogma is going to go down in galleon history. I get barbecued. When I really should not have. I didn't even get a good spell off. Uh, well, we're going to go for him again. I don't know that we could really kill him in 10 to 15 minutes. I have no idea, quite frankly, but I'll tell you what, we brought in some heavy hitters, and I've yet to really unleash the power that I have inside, so we'll try that soon enough, but for now, let's get into this badass booty segment, I'd also like to plug, I see we have some uh, 
Scallywag sitting in the mess hall, uh, yucking it up. If you'd like to leave a message about um, uh, a question, I should say, for the, uh, the bag that tells no tales at the end of the hour, please feel free. This stool is getting in my way. That's much better. The bag that tells no tales, please, please feel free. We'll take it live, and if not... We've got a whole bunch of questions in there anyway. Okay, let's get started. Booty segment. This is all one hit. All one day. Okay? Walked into a pawn shop, and I said, they knew me. I'm like, what do you got? She's like, uh, we're doing inventory. Now, I don't know what inventory is, but I believe inventory is when... Oh. Whew. Uh... I guess, I guess like a manager shows up, like a regional manager comes and maybe looks at all the stuff they has and counts up the transactions versus the stuff that they bought. I don't know, but all I know is when inventory happens, they're usually, uh, you know, trying to, to, to look their best in front, of, uh, in front of this guy. And I'm sure that when it comes to... Uh, Getting stuff out that no one else wants, that's probably a good thing in the regional guy's eye. So, as a result, plus I had a bit of a relationship with this person already. She started pulling games for me, and they were carts. Let's take a look. I had a whole bunch here. Sega Genesis carts, okay? First one we had here is uh, X-Men. First X-Men, uh, we have this guy. Great game. If uh, you have a Genesis, pick this guy up. It's two-player fun. Can't get enough. Road Rash 2. I used to think this game was overrated. I'm finally converted. I understand the allure of being on a motorcycle, being chased by the cops, and uh, raking the guy next to you in the competition with a chain. Not a bad game. NBA Jam. NBA Jam, it's uh, really busted up. It's missing its, its uh, label here. We got Championship World Class Soccer. She had a stack here, and I was willing to just grab them all because the price she was asking was 50 cents a game. So I was like, 50 cents, whatever you got, we'll take it. You got NFL football, NFL football, she had a random Game Boy, uh, Game Boy game sitting there, Donkey Kong Land 2, we've got that guy already, NBA Action 9 to 95, let me know if I'm putting you to sleep yet. International Tennis. Okay, I'll wake you when I'm done here. Uh, NHL Hockey. Don't ever, uh, don't ever count out hockey in the Sega Genesis. You guys are going to have to put up with me doing NHL 94 for Voyage one day. It's just going to happen. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, it's... And, 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 and something about hockey and the Genesis. Um, it can be a lot of fun, even to this day. Outdoor Bass Tournament 96. FIFA Soccer 95. Oh my god, this is. Now I'm starting to regret this. Hard driving. Hard driving. Pretty terrible on the Genesis. Decent arcade game. Jeopardy Sports Edition. Well, we'll certainly be versed in this. After we play all these early 90s sports games. And then finally, oh, what lot would, what Genesis lot would be complete without Jurassic Park? That's written on it. It says, uh, I have no idea. I can't make it out. Uh, so you're looking at one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Genesis games, and then you got the Game Boy game. 
she said she said I don't know 50 cents and I said you know I would do 50 cents but they're all these are sports games I mean most these are all sports games I don't know if I can do that and she's she's like how about a quarter and I said okay okay for a quarter I'll get them out of here for you so 13 14 of those what's that come out to about 250 for that stack 250 okay all right she also had some ps1 games she pulled out from the back it's like how much for the ps1 she said 75 cents not bad right out of the box we did okay spiral the dragon it is actually there it's not cracked it's complete see how the disc looks this has some fingerprints but no scratches very nice shape Spyro still a great game to this day 75 cents beautiful cool borders too I don't know how many of these they made but uh, I remember uh, remember having it having some fun with, with the cool borders series Bugs Life uh, is a pretty terrible 3D platformer I don't think we had it though Frogger he's back over and over and over Frogger is back and in, in every uh, on the floor of every pawn shop you're gonna find Frogger I was just I was just helping her clean this stuff out 75 cents uh, looks like a NASCAR game here NASCAR racing we got uh, a jam pack winter 98 remember winter 98 oh man those were the days you got uh, this is a demo disc at Spyro medieval medieval uh, Metal Gear Solid oh good cool borders threes on here I always I always like to look for a demo I'm always looking at these things to see if there's something like re uh, a demo of a really rare game sometimes that happens but uh, nothing to write home about here nothing to write home about. Uh, Blast Radius probably the game that interests me the most uh, although it's, it looks like it's just another space like a first person space shooter from the company that brought you Colony Wars and then one more demo disc what do we got on here you got Crash Bash uh, Matt Hoffman's BMX Spider-Man you know whatever so those were all 75 cents 75 buck 50 oh that's buck 50 three dollars 450 okay six bucks for those a few ps2 games she had a bunch I don't even know why I got these because we already have them uh, she was asking a buck 25 on them picked up some good ones uh, NFL Street volume 2 this game's always pretty much in demand pretty cool game uh, Dragon Dragon Ball Budokai 3 we had it these are all in really nice condition manuals and manuals there and then finally uh, Tekken 4 I'm not even a real Tekken fan but it's very hard to pass up Tekken 4 because Tekken 4 has Tekken 1 2 and 3 on it as well so that's pretty cool that's a good sell uh, and then finally she had some PS4 games and the PS4 games she you know people have them out there they're out there but you know people are asking real prices um, most of the time in a pawn shop these days you can get them somewhere between thirty to fifteen dollars depending on the title uh, I saw they, they pulled out some from the back that hadn't hit the floor yet and I saw this guy they had the collector's edition of this the vanilla edition of this and then this version the day one edition of Dark Souls 3 I said how much are in Dark Souls 3 uh, by this time the manager was off we'd done our, our Genesis deal and our PS1 deal and uh, this was one of the other employees pulling these out I said what do you want to do on this she looks at the back and then she looks at the computer she's like uh, it's forty six dollars <laughs> and I'm like ah, uh, yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Why don't you get your manager, okay? Because and then I I took a look at two other games you had in the stack. The two games being Mortal Kombat XL. This is the game of the year edition. 
Mortal Kombat X, uh, but it's got some very interesting originally DLC characters now on the disc. You got Alien vs. Predator here. Alien and the Predator are playable. You got Goro on here. You got Jason Voorhees on here. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface. And then I think that's Noob Cybot. So yeah, this is basically like, if you're going to get Mortal Kombat X, get Mortal Kombat XL. This one's still kind of in demand. And then finally, a game that just came out pretty recently, just a few months ago, Far Cry Primal. I said to her, I don't think I'm going to do 46 on this. And in fact, and I grab all these three, and I said, really, I think I would want to do 40 on all three. And uh, she got with the manager, and the manager made it happen. So out the door, we got these guys for 40 rest of this Marigaburo comes out to around 13 bucks. So $53 for... I don't know what we're going to do with these Genesis games. <laughs> they were a quarter! What do you want me to do? They were a quarter. Whatever. At least we got the PS4 games, right? Okay, that's it. You guys can throw your rotten tomatoes on that one. Let me know what you think about that deal. Uh, let's get back to Dragon's Dogma. we got about uh, 25 minutes left in the voyage. So that hopefully will be enough time for us to... This ranger is walking around with no pants on. <laughs> let's get back to, to Dragon's Dogma for the, uh, for the PlayStation 3. Do the harp. Do the harp, darn it. Video and audio, baby. This is a difficult game. This was always meant to be a difficult game. I believe this was made to compete with Dark Souls. But frankly, now, admittedly, I haven't played Dark Souls, but I played Demon Souls. And the reason this one grabbed me... Oh, God, I don't even want... I don't even feel like I can talk right now because of what we're up against. Um... I, the reason this one grabbed me is I feel like Dark, Dark Souls is is a little uh, it's not let me in there. Dark Souls is a little too depressing. You're all on your own. Yes, there are. There is water. There is water. We're up against it here, and. I think we should give this guy one more try. We may be able to beat him. Is he still here? There he is. Now I'm going to send Karaman. I'm going to send them all first. We'll get him. Alright, I'm gonna get serious. If he gives me an opening, that is. Alright, here we go. Give myself some cover. Oh my god. Oh, he's not letting me do my spell. Oh! I can't get any, any of my big spells off because he's... Oh, this camera's killing me. I can't see him. I just wanted to go see that stupid castle. Now, you'll get nowhere while it's 
if I could have enough time to do my real spells, he's not going to let this happen. I'll show you how. Just stay there. Money shot. Oh, yeah. Ha 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 ha! Get him, boys! Oh, yeah. I'm gonna send a poison cloud over there. Oh, no. He hypnotized uh, Caraman. Caraman, no, don't do it, dude. No! Ah! Where am I? Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Help! Oh, God. I'm so outclassed for this, clearly. I'm trying to get the big one off again. Come forth, mighty Maelstrom! No! Oh, he stopped me. Oh my god. Herman! Some beasts still remain. This sucks. I can't trust anybody. This guy's hurt. Oh! Oh my god. Let me tell you, Raceland was a lot better of a magician than I am. I'm not doing him justice. I don't even know where you are! Oh god, I hope this works. Maelstrom! Yeah! Go get him! Like, I can't even move after that spell. Oh my god. Uh. Alright, you'll notice that I'm burning blue right now. I'm gonna do a poison cloud. Oh, and of course I missed with it. The more damage I do without getting hit, the stronger my hits. And that's all based on the staff I have. Wow, he didn't like that. I'm gonna try and follow it up. Go get him, you stupid dwarf! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, my God! Is that Maelstrom hitting him? No, and I'm... I'm so... Uh... Uh. This is not good. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, who's hurt? Is this Carmen? Get back in there, you fool. Think well. I'm beginning to think that ranger in the bikini underwear is a guy. I think that hit him. Anybody sick of looking at this rock? Sorry.
Oh, I hit him in the heart that time. Yes, an opening. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my God! Uh, ah! That was like uh, actual terror. Oh god, he sees me. I believe I may be the only- Whoa, that was a trap! Ah! Oh my god, another trap! I don't know what these tripwires are for. Probably whoever made them already- You guys are killing me. Uh. Anybody watching the time? Oh my god. Got another maelstrom coming. No! Oh my god. I'm gonna go for the heart. There we go! Get him! These guys aren't doing anything. Don't draw it near! Just kill it! Oh my god. Uh, uh, I'm out of stamina. No, no one of those guys are on me. No! Raceland, get up! Jeez. Wow, beads of sweat are just coming off me right now. What else is new, right? I'd be playing Frogger and there'd be beads of sweat on me. I am your master! He's hypnotizing our friends. But, that gives me a moment to get a maelstrom on him. Please help me! I'm busy! You're my master! Wait, I'm your master! Oh, did you see that? <laughs> He's getting slammed, but... I don't know by how much. Again, that's playing with the naked eye playing with just the naked eye for you. Oh, I missed. The poison cloud. Oh, he didn't like that. No, that's not gonna work. 
Is it? Is everyone alive right now? You guys are killing me. I should have stuck with Layla and Reyna. At least I trust them. How are we doing on time? We got, uh... 13 minutes? 13 minutes left in the cast. All three of you are down? Jeez. Come on, guys. Anyone see him? You notice it's getting dark? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting dark. And when it gets dark, it gets real dark. Where is he? Ah! I'm pulling out my lantern. Finally, some attacks. I'm aiming. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! I think this guy's just flat out got us outclassed. I don't feel like we're getting anywhere. Which is entirely possible. That's why I wanted to go to the castle! Oh my god. Throwing up a poison cloud. Oh, he's got- yeah. Alright, I'll try and get a maelstrom up. Stay down, you clown! Oh no! I saw somebody down. Did we get him up? Whoa! Come on, keep him busy. Keep him busy. Keep him busy. Keep him busy. Keep him busy, Carmen. I don't know that that hit him. I can't even see him anymore. Oh! Look at his heart, guys. You guys ready to run? I'm about ready to let this one go. that won't even hit him. Ugh. I can't even see him anymore. Oh my god. Alright, I hate to say it, but we're going to abort. Whoa! Yeah, we're gonna abort mission. Because I don't think we got what it takes. Whoa! That's it, we're out of here.
aren't we? Stay there. That's it. We're porting out. We're going back to town. That's all she wrote. Uh, yeah, we got five minutes. Okay, that's it. Let me see if I... I'll show you guys a little bit of uh, what city life is like. Quest failed! Ah, screw you! Oh, it's really dark. So you can't see much. So we'll leave it here. Yes, this is my hometown. We'll leave it here. Alright, that's it. That's it for Dragon's Dogma. What a drag. Can't believe we couldn't beat that guy. Yeah, I love that music, though. Oh, man. Hey, man, if somebody told me that a dragon was going to be there, I would have went the other side of the lake. I don't call it Lake Hardship for nothing, huh? Well, sorry that uh, I couldn't bring you the head. I tried. At least we, well, we didn't even stay alive. I blew it the, right out of the box. Ugh. Uh, it's so embarrassing. <sighs> okay. Let's see if you have any questions uh, here. Other than why do you suck? Let's see. Did you say comely? Yes. Comely, as in attractive. Uh, the opposite of uh, homely. Look it up. Uh, let's see, anything else here? No, no, nothing really. More game audio? You tell me there wasn't enough of that? Come on, that should have been fine. More game audio, please. It's live. Maybe find someone to help me out with this sinking ship. All right, here we go. This is from uh, Jelly Alpaca. Uh, Jelly says, uh, yeah, I got a question. Does Captain want to clean my dinghy? Well, that depends on how many barnacles are on it. Uh, let's see if we got any more here. Thanks, Jelly. Oh, this one. Here's a few. This is from... Uh, TSGN BMO. What's in the mug? What's in the mug? There's not. It's gross. I'll show you what's in the mug. Oh, it's like an old used tissue. I used to use this thing, and then it only took Patty the Swallow maybe a week on the ship before he he slammed it down and cracked it, and now it leaks. So that's it. There's a slip of paper towel in there. How many shirts do you have on? Two. I always have two shirts on. Uh, the, the Hawaiian shirt and then the shirt under. If I didn't wear the one under, uh, there'd be some, some uh, less, than tr less than comely shots to be seen. Uh, where do you get those comic books? Oh, we have comic books on now and then. Just thrift stores, man. If I see the ba a bag of comic books, I'm not really comic book fine, but I think it's it's fascinating and we can find one of those bags uh, to look through them and uh, I hope you do too and then finally why you no read chat I read chat I'm just busy okay it's not a stream figure it out thank you for the question uh, TG TSG and BMO. Thank you, I appreciate it. If you have a question, you can send it to the Gaming Galleon. Uh, whenever Gaming Galleon TV's on and the chat room's open, you want to leave it there, chances are I'll find it. Uh, and um, thank you very much for uh, sending us questions. That's my favorite part of the show, is uh, answering the questions. Okay, do we have anything else to add? No, I don't think so. I'm really sorry about Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I guess we bit off more than I could chew. Look, that was a win, that was like, I was darned if I did, and I was darned if I didn't, because if I just left a massive dragon sitting there, you guys would have been like, what are you doing? How could you just leave it? Okay, I had to go for it, that's just, 
That wasn't my plan at all. I played that game for like 30 hours and loved it. This is a very cheap game. Dragon's Dogma. Dark Arisen. It's like $8. $5 if you get the vanilla version. I highly suggest it. It's an amazing game. And I will be playing it months and months after this voyage. To be sure. Um, I, I, I can't suggest it enough. And as for the whole pawn thing... You didn't really get to see it, but you'll notice in the rift I picked up a couple guys. The most fun thing about that is if you're online, you anyone who played Dark Arisen who's on your friends list, they have a pawn. That pawn can be accessed via the rift. Rift and look, now you've got a couple of friends of yours along for the ride. That's really cool. Um, can't suggest this game enough. So, thanks again. I think we'll leave it there. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Appreciate you watching the show. And I appreciate you, you know, using your imagination a little bit. Because why not, for God's sakes? Why not? All right. We'll see you next time. And until then, I want to do to ye Spanish maidens. I want to do ye ladies of Spain. For we received orders for to sail on to Grancis, which is the proper name of the country that that takes place in. And we may never see ye fair ladies again. Oh, please, more game audio. I'm fighting a dragon. Please, more game audio. Uh, keep your powder dry, mateys.